Hello, oh, I got a new hat. <laughs> I gave my other one to my youngest grandson. He had turned one years old here pretty soon, and he, whenever I went over to go visit him, he'd always like to put my hat on, so I give it to him, and I went out and got me another one. But what we're going to do today is we're going to test these two current sense modules right here. I removed them from a very large drive, 113 kVA to 143 kVA, a ah, very large drive. Now, the U-leg, let's get this turned up so I can see the U-leg pass through this current sense. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm backwards. The U-leg passed through this current sense and the W-leg passed through this current sense right here. Now one of them is bad and it was causing an alarm 12 on that drive. Instantaneous overcurrent on the output. <laughs> I tested the power devices and they all tested good. They weren't shorted. They could not have caused an overcurrent alarm. So finally got to the bottom of the drive where this thing sits and pulled it out and uh, tested it the other day and uh, I'd like you to see what a good one looks like and what a bad one looks like so let's get the camera moved over here to the bench and we'll hook it up and see what she does here's the setup and at the end of the video I'll put up drawings on how to hook this up and you can test yours too it's always fun when you're able to uh, watch one of my setup videos, my test videos, and uh, then get to see the paperwork. I always like doing that so that you can test yours. Now I'm going to use this Variac bridge rectifier and bus capacitors to create a DC voltage. That DC voltage, the current from this setup right here, is going to pass through this 25 ohm 225 watt resistor that's going to be my load and I'm going to take and pass this one end of this resistor through the current sense loop and it's going to go through this ammeter back to ground so we have positive here connected to the resistor, the other side of the resistor connected to the positive side of the ammeter of this DMM and pass back to bus ground, positive being on this side, ground being on that side. Now, I've got to hook up a plus and minus 15 volt DC power supply to current sense module. This green wire is the output of the current sense module and its output is in current. It's not voltage out, it's current out. So we have to set the second ammeter to current and the ground of the ammeter of this DMM goes to ground to that power supply. So we have plus 15, minus 15, and ground, and the output of the current sense module goes to this ammeter right here. I'm going to set them, stand them up side by side, get to amps DC. This one's going to be milliamps DC. And let me turn all this on to make sure everybody's working. And then I will move the movie camera over in front of these two meters. Now the ratio of this current sense is 1 to 2,000. Turn 
turn that down. Turn off the variac. Turn off the power supply to the current sense circuit. And I'll move the camera over in front of those two digital multimeters. Set to current sense mode. All right, we have two amps flowing through the load of 25 ohms at 225 watts. Now let's do the math. We have two amps divided by 2,000. That's the ratio of 1 to 2,000 on the current sense module. So we have two amps divided by 2,000 and we get one milliamp. That's what we have over here. Right now it says 0.99 milliamps. Let me crank that up a little bit. Come on, stay there. I'm cranking the Variac dial up just a little bit. We got 2.02 amps flowing through the load, and we have one milliamp out here. That's two divided by 2,000 equals one milliamp. Isn't that amazing? So that current sense module is good. Let me hook up the other current sense module and you'll see what it's doing. I'm going to back the Variac down and turn it off. Turn off the plus and minus 15 volt DC supply. And we're going to move to the second current sense module. Let's turn on the plus and minus 15 volts DC to power up the current sense module. And I don't even have to turn on the Variac because right off the bat on the current sense output of this module I have negative 515.1 milliamps current flow. <laughs> That is bad. That is bad. Let's see what happens if we do turn on the Variac. No change at the output. Okay, let me move the camera over in front of the two digital multimeters set to current mode measurement and you can see what it looks like. Now it's gone down a little bit, but it's still a negative. 502.8 milliamps of current flow on the output of that current sense module and, and right now I have no current flow through the load that Variac is turned off and so that output right here should be zero but it's not and that's what's causing the Alarm 12 instantaneous overcurrent on the output. Let me turn on the Variac and see if we can get any change. Okay, the Variac's coming on. I'm going to increase current flow through that 25 ohm resistor. And it does slightly change, but that's still not right. That is absolutely not right. This should say 1 milliamp. 2 divided by 2,000. Where we go, we know what to get now <laughs> to fix that drive. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing?
Who'd have thought that the doggone current sense was the problem? <laughs> They're like any electronic device, though. They go bad. Gonna have to order one of those. We don't have one in the shop. When we get the part in, we'll try to run that drive. We'll power it up and, and see if uh, the new current sense module cleared the alarm. I know it will. <laughs> I have no doubt that it will. <laughs> All right. Okay, folks. Hope y'all's having a good day there where y'all are at. And we're not doing too bad here. We're still on this side of the dirt. That can't be bad, can it? <laughs> All, right. All right. Have a good day. And we'll see you when the sun comes up. Hey, then all. Let's take a look at the test setup that we used to test this. Honeywell current sense module. Here's the current sense loop, and here is the connector that we applied a DC power supply, a plus 15 volts DC, to this pin right here, minus 15 volts DC to this pin right here, and the current output of that current sense module through our second digital multimeter set to ammeter mode and the output the ground side of that DMM back to this ground of the DC power supply. The part number of the Honeywell current sense module was C SNL two eight one dash zero zero six to create the two amps through our load resistor of twenty five ohms at two hundred and twenty five watts that two amps of current pass through the current sense loop through the first digital multimeter to bus ground. Here are two bus capacitors and C1 and C2 they are 1000 microfarad 400 volt in series and here is bus ground that same ground right there and this same ground right here on the bridge rectifier. To create that 2 amps of current flow in this circuit right here. We use the bridge rectifier and filter caps to filter and smooth that DC output of the bridge rectifier. AC into the bridge rectifier from a variac. This is a variable AC source that plugs into the wall. Now here where I live we have 120 volts AC single phase into that plug powering up that variac and we can vary this with that knob that's it very simple circuit only one note of importance in this circuit are the grounds this ground right here this one here they're tied together and this ground over here those three that symbol right there man, means that these are tied together. These grounds up here are not the same as this ground here on the DC power supply. So don't tie them together. They're separate. These grounds and this ground are two different grounds. Two different systems. Alright all. Wasn't that a fascinating piece of troubleshooting right there? <laughs> if ever you need to troubleshoot your current sense module out of that Allen Bradley drive, this is the circuit you can use to do it with. Enjoy! It's almost Christmas time. We're supposed to have a ice storm come through here tonight so I'm gonna 
run into the backyard, make sure that the birds have uh, plenty to eat, keep their uh, bellies warm throughout the night. Till the sun comes up tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, hey. Did y'all have a good Thanksgiving? I hope so. We did all right here. phew -wee. Did we have a good Thanksgiving? We did. All right. Got a few more chores to do before the sun goes down here in about 15 minutes. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.